Hi guys, um, so today I'm sitting on my couch doing this. Um, I'm usually somewhere on the floor or somewhere near a window for good lighting, but it's a gorgeous sunny day out, so my entire living room is pretty lit up right now, so I thought this would be comfortable, nice little setting, um, a little bit different than what I usually do. So um, I'm trying to vlog in between commercials for this episode of Ace of Cakes, it's, um, a favorite store show of mine. Um, I like to see the cakes and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, I'm going to be trying to look over there a lot. So um, I've got a lot to talk about today. First of all, um, Matt and Jocelyn, my cousin, well, my cousin Matt, his wife Jocelyn, and their two children, Emily and Caden, um, came out today. I've been living in this apartment for two and a half years, and this is the first time they've been out, um, because it's hard with little kids, especially since, um, Caden was born and he was very small, um, when I first moved out here. So, they came out to visit today. It was really, really fun. Um, they came, um, around lunchtime. We hung out a little bit, then we had lunch, and they brought soup along with them, um, and it was very good, um, from one of the Italian restaurants back at home. And then, um, we played some games. I played a little bit of Wii. Caden loves shouting we even if it can't hold his attention very long but um so i played we played a little we and then um em and i played two games and um the one was the clue the clue junior that we got it for christmas it was actually pretty fun um so it was really nice to see them um and for them to come out and see the apartment um take the trek out here to see me um and i don't think emily wanted to leave it was so adorable um and so it's it's nice to have them come out and visit. This weekend has been pretty laid back. I was supposed to go to Allentown yesterday to see Val, and we had this huge snowstorm, except I didn't get any snow at all. There's nothing on my ground. Um, so that kind of stunk. So it was nice to have them come out and to uh, have a little company this weekend. And um, I look forward to seeing them when I'm home again. Today, um, other than Matt and Jocelyn, um, I have a couple things I want to talk about. Actually, I told my friend Joe that, um, well, she was like, don't you want to promote um, some of these people? Um, and I do. So um, to start off with, my friend Joe um, has taken over this, um, um, I don't know what I want to call it. Um, she works for this place called Sam Am Global. I don't really know how you're actually supposed to pronounce it. Sam, Sam, Sam Am Global. I'm not sure. Um, but she's the head of this group called Culture Vaders. Um, and they're pretty much people that are um, interested kind of in um, your musical tastes, ideas, um, what you like about your particular favorite acts, um, what you don't like, that kind of stuff. And um, first of all, I want to tell you that it's... Um, a pretty cool opportunity and they're essentially listening to your opinion so if you're really big into music like moi um, you might want to check it out I will put the um, link um, in the gray matter so they're called culture vaders and Joe runs it and she's a great person so um, any contact with her would be awesome for you um, it'll make your life better um, and so through her of course I've talked about Marcus far <laughs> I have talked about Marcus Foster here before I know um, and he's, again, um, one of those British guys that I like a lot. So Marcus Foster is one guy. Um, the two new guys um, that she kind of got me interested in, um, this first one's name is Tom Betram, and um, he's a young kid, um, pretty young actually, I think um, in his teens still maybe. Um, but he's very talented. He plays guitar. Um, and so I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel in my Grey Matter. Um, so you should check him out. And then also Alan Pownall, Pau Pownall, see again, I'm not good at these pronunciation things. Um, Marcus's name is really easy. Um, Alan Pownall. Um, I like him a lot. He's got a really great, unique voice. Um, so I'll put him in gray matter as well. Um, so you should definitely check out both and check out Culture Vaders if you want to get involved. Um, so there's my little plug, um, and it didn't hurt at all. So um, check that stuff out. Um, so this week, um, well actually last night was the Bud Shootout, um, and, uh, for those of you who probably know, you've been watching these for a while, and I've probably talked about it, I'm a huge NASCAR fan. Every weekend, my parents and I and my sister go to, um, the Memorial Day race in Charlotte at Charlotte Motor Speedway now. It used to be Lowe's until this year again. Um, so Charlotte Motor Speedway every year. We're huge NASCAR fans, um. Jeff Burton is my man, um, go number 31, and, um, yeah, so, I'm a hick, 
Um, but anyway, so uh, NASCAR, the Bud Shootout was last night. And then the Daytona 500 is this coming weekend. It's actually on Valentine's Day. So um, I'm going to rank this at number two of my awesome Valentine's Day experiences. Last year, I went to see Ben Folds on Valentine's Day. So really, like, wh what would be better than seeing Ben Folds on, Labor or on Valentine's Day? Um, nothing. So uh, the Daytona 500 being on the, the um, Valentine's Day, one less. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. I love NASCAR season. It gets me really in the mood to head to Charlotte in May. It's still a long way off, but um, it gets me in the mood. So I'm really excited for that. Um, definitely more so than for the Super Bowl tonight. Um, it'll be a good game, but I, you know, unless my team is in it, I, it's kind of hard to find the Super Bowl engaging sometimes. Um, and the commercials have kind of fallen off in the last couple of years, so I'm interested to see what they are like this year. Um, so that is that. Uh, there's really not much else going on. Um, you know, it's been a quiet week. Um, we're supposed to get a snowstorm on Tuesday into Wednesday, so we'll see if that happens. Um, hopefully I'll have my new Bones DVDs by then. I literally broke down, joined Netflix for free, but I'm probably going to stick with it because um, it's not that expensive so that I can see Bones um, because I wasn't going to get home to get Liz's DVDs until this coming weekend. So um, I'm also watching really random episodes on, like, my nine. So um, it's been fun, though. Um... So yeah, I say I'm a lot. <laughs> I'm like Robin and her like. Is that what Robin said? I don't remember. So uh, this is going to be a little bit shorter probably, but it's all good. So um, I will see you probably next weekend.